Until these cards just completely plummet in value, I'm just gonna do this showdown over and over again and farm stubs. If I should do a huge pack opening with the stubs that I've already made, get this video to 2,000 likes, I'll rip like 200 packs tomorrow. Also, I got two days left to make World Series, and I, <laughs> once again, I'm waiting till the last second, even though I'm already ha more than halfway through Championship Series. I'm gonna be live on Twitch late Saturday, Sunday night, and all day Monday getting it done. So follow me on Twitch if you're not already. You can get this Run It backpack over and over and over again for playing the showdown in conquest map now i don't know if these prices are going to plummet on this card quickly or slowly or you know how many stuff are you going to be able to get for opening this pack over and over again andrew jones currently going for about thirty thousand stubs i mean he's the best card that you can get out of the pack so 30k for a free pack you can get over and over again would be nice you're not going to get andrew jones in every single pack but that's not a bad way to farm these cards if you were live on twitch with me yesterday I did the showdown twice in about an hour and 15 minutes. I got the pack twice. We got Andrew Jones once, Javier Baez once. I sold them immediately. They both sold for 58,000 subs. So I made over 100K in about an hour off of these packs because I did the showdown twice as soon as they released. 30K is not a bad number at all. I am a little concerned that that's gonna continue to go down even more as more and more of these cards go into the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and farm some coins right now while I can. We're gonna play through that new showdown Get the pack, open it up. Hopefully we get Andrew Jones. So we're gonna get another little showdown playthrough action. Try and make some stubs. If I can get 30K over and over again for 40 minute runs, let's go. So the running back showdown has a mini boss, three moments, a mini boss, three moments, and then the final boss. Decent amount of XP and stubs here as well. Showdown's always been the best place to get XP all year long. 2,700 and a running backpack at the end for the final boss. Now what I did in both of my runs I did two moments. I believe they're worth two runs apiece. I did two moments for four runs, and then I just skipped to the end. We're gonna go through the draft, and then I'll break down exactly how many runs you have to score and your best way to go about approaching this. It's on veteran at first, and then it bumps up to all-star towards the end, and the final boss is on all-star. So your PCI is gonna be huge. The deficit's not that big. You should be able to get this done rather easily. Unless, of course, you get shafted, which happens a lot in Showdown, but it's only a 500 sub entry. So you're not gonna get killed on this. Just do a couple moments after you beat the first mini boss, you should get your subs back every time. Starting the draft, let's see what we got. Avi ah, Baez, the new 97 on the squad. Next up, Carlos Correa, Tatis, Finley, and Andrew Vaughn. Give me Tatis, I just like his swing. Yikes. He's really good, though. He's really good in this game, though. I'll take Aaron Judge. Daniel Murphy. Oh, Tani son. Jose Barrios. I'll take Kimbrel as a reliever just because he's got a fast pitching motion. Ice water veins. And I'll go ahead and this one doesn't even matter. It's too rattled. Maybe they'll boot a grounder when I need it. So here it is. Once you actually draft your team, you get 16 outs against that final boss. So one more than your typical showdown, which is usually 15. You do have to do a mini boss though on your very first moment. So you cannot lose that first moment that you get put in the mini boss. You have to complete it to move on to the three mini moments, which is where you're going to get your runs for the final showdown. But this first mini boss is, it's stupid easy. There's runners in scoring position and you have six outs to score the run. And it's a tie. You legit only have to score one run. Shouldn't be hard at all. Let's put the lineup together. We'll get a gold player at 650 XP when we complete this. First mini boss, Tyler Clipper. Now the final boss, I didn't mention this sooner in the video, can be a bunch of different guys. So you kind of just have to take the best players available in your draft. Cruz, deep out to left. We're gonna send him. Good tag up, good jump, not a great throw, and we're done. On two pitches. Gold round after completing that first mini boss. Give me Chug Nasty. Brandon Lowe, Brandon Lau, Brandon Lowe. Three right fielders in our outfield now, but who really cares? Facing a stacked run it back squad. Come back from a one run deficit in the eighth inning for two runs. Easy. You're going to be down by one. You have to score two. You have two at bats to do it. I like to do these type of moments in the bottom of the eighth, though, if I could score two and then just get three up, three down in the top of the ninth. Super quick in and out. Well, backdoor off speed. Despite this being on slow pit softball, I am garbage right now. Oh, my. <laughs> Whenever you're playing the CPU and you hit a no doubter and that camera angle jumps to that, like right on the close up, that. <laughs> It's just so extra dramatic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that felt good. We were early. Tatis is just a glitch. Okay, whoo, got sweaty. Two straight outs. Ha! Ha! 
Chen. Popped, okay. All right, Paul. Guess we do have to go off speed. Good night. What no? What was the worst swing I've ever seen in my life? Next moment, tally three strikeouts and in two innings. See, this is one of the moments right here that I'll just skip. Because you have to strike out the side in your first inning of work. If you don't do that, then you got to go through a whole at bat before you get to go back to the mound. Waste of time, in my opinion. We'll try and strike out the side. But if we do not strike out the side, I'm just going to quit out of this moment and do the next one. One down, and we're quitting. <laughs> Tally two extra base hits in two innings. All right, so just two home runs, two doubles, a double and a homer, a double and a triple, a triple and a home run. Who cares? Just got to get two extra base hits. Let's do it in one inning or worse. Get over the wall. Oh, I thought he caught it. All right, one at bat, one done. And we're done. That Javi Baez, no doubter, by the way, is one of the best in the game. Heavy competition with David Ortiz for me. Anthony Santander with the plus eight, come on down. All right, so we are currently at four runs. This is where I would usually skip to the end. The next mini boss is against Lee Smith. You enter the game with no one on. You have to take the lead before recording nine outs. We get a diamond run at back player and a diamond perk for completing this. So I'm just gonna do it to show you guys what it looks like. And then I am gonna skip to the end after this mini boss. Is that a four pitch walk to start this thing off? It didn't even give me time to set my fantasy lineup. Just walk me on four. Oh, get down. I did get down. We're going to be out in second. I thought he was going to catch it. Ah! Knock! Nando! That's not what we needed. Oh, no. I need a two-run bombing. We got six outs. Please get down. Oh, man. I really screwed myself up with that double play ball. This is going to be sweaty. Five outs to go. I need a homer. Bottom of the order coming up. Knock. Okay, now we need an extra base hit. I'm going to pinch run for Daniel Murphy. Oh, goodness. Otani. Is that going to get out? That ball was crushed. We're done. Billy Williams on the squad. Significant contact boost on the first two pitches of an at-bat. I'm super aggressive, especially on these lower pit speeds. I'll use that. Lineup's looking pretty solid. We have to score... Nine runs. We have 16 outs to do it. We're going to skip to the end right there and go ahead and face Burt Blylevin on veteran difficulty. 16 outs to score nine runs. Let's do it. Actually, I lied at the beginning. I thought it went from veteran to all-star. It does not. It's on veteran all the way through. Don't mind me. Chuck, get lucky. <laughs> I love it. That's double. Hobby. Got a little bit in on my barrel, but the timing is spectacular. Ay, ay, ay. We'll move up to third with Chuck. Billy Williams! Deep out to right center! And there's two! Oh, Tony Son! Back to back! Cruz with a base knock. Aaron Judge. The runner on first jumped off the back. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gotta be gone. Felt like it was gonna hang up a little bit, but that runner jumped, you knew it was gone. Two run dinger, all rise. That ball smoked. Anthony Santander off the bench, and it's a two run game. We need three more on 13 out, should be pretty easy. That's gonna be in the gap. We're blooping a blast from being done. Knock for Tatis, and we can end it on one swing. That's gonna go. Aaron Judge jumped off the bat. We're done. Hanging curve. Nine outs left. Nine. Let's open this pack and make some stuff. So I've been recording this video for 26 minutes. That's how long it took me to do that. And I honestly could have skipped sooner. I just wanted to show you guys. And I think it's a little, just in case you get shafted a little bit on some line outs, have a few runs to lean on. It's pretty easy though, especially on the veteran difficulty. Here's the pack. We're going to rip it open. And we did not. This is the first time I got this pack where I did not get Andrew Jones or Javi Baez. But at the very least, it's a 20,000 stub um, pick up. I'm sorry, it's a 25,000 stub pick up at the very least. I think these prices are going to continue to drop a little bit more. So I'm going to pick up the most expensive. That's Lee Smith and we'll sell them on the marketplace. I'm going to go ahead and put a sell order of 31,000 on the marketplace. See if that'll go through. If that does go through, I've now made almost 150K in about an hour and 45 minutes 
worth of grinding. And Showdown is fun for me. I enjoy it. So I'm going to continue to farm Showdown until these prices drop so much that maybe, you know, if they go down to like 10k, maybe it's not worth it. Right now, though, 25, 30k, 35k, if we can get Andrew Jones, Javier Baez, I'm going to farm this as much as I can. Expect a massive pack opening tomorrow. I'm dumping all these stubs right in the packs. We're going to have some fun on the channel. Hit the thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm out. Peace.